Hello and welcome to the short MD18 Candle Startup Guide. Today we'd like to tell you more about the MD18 Candle system, show how to connect the drives and finally run a couple of examples available in our GitHub repo. Please note that the tutorial will only show some basic features. More information can be found in our MD8X Candle manual, which is available in this video's description. MD80 is an integrated brushless motor controller designed by Mab Robotics for transforming regular brushless motors into advanced actuators. These controllers can work in three different motion modes, position mode, velocity mode and impedance mode, which makes them suitable for a wide variety of applications. Kendu, named from Ken and Dangu, is a bidirectional translator device between the USB and CAN bus. It is used to send commands and receive data from the MD80 controllers. So today's tutorial setup consists of two actuators with integrated MD80 controllers. In this case, it's AK80-9 and AX8108. We've got a single candle device, a terminator, some cables to connect the actuators together, power supply cable, and USB Type-C cable. We can start the assembly by connecting the two actuators. As you can see, each of them has two connectors. It doesn't matter which one you use because they are connected in parallel. On the end of the CAN string, you should use a terminator, which is just a 120 ohm resistor embedded into a connector. Like this. In the end, we can connect the candle device to the first actuator. Connect the USB Type-C cable. And in the end, the power supply. After we turn the power supply on, we should be able to see green lights blinking in each of the actuators. Alright, at this point we can move to the software part and finally run some examples. In this tutorial, we will be running Python examples due to its simplicity. The underlying libraries are written in C++, so there should be no performance issues. However, if you'd like, you can use the C++ libraries directly. Okay, first we have to pip install the PyCandle map package, which is used to communicate with MD80 controllers using Candle. As you can see, I've got the PyCandle map package already installed. After the installation, we can clone the candle repo, which contains some basic examples. Now we can install the set serial package, which is mentioned in the readme file. This step is not crucial, however, it increases the maximum serial port access frequency, so we highly recommend it. OK, at this point, we are done with the setup. Let's move to the first example. Its purpose is to search for available actuators on the CAN bus and send a blink command to each of them. You can see the example is rather simple. First, we import the map.pycandle package. Then we create a candle object on which we then call the pink method, which discovers all the drives. Then for every ID found on the bus, we call a blink command and exit with a success message. Let's now run the example. As you can see, both actuators received the command correctly. In the terminal window, we can see all the echo messages coming from the candle library. Probably one of the most important ones are the actuator IDs. The second example shows how we can read the shaft position of a selected actuator. In this case, the beginning of the script is similar to the previous example. However, all the IDs we have found 
are now added to an update list. Each actuator found on that list will be updated with a high rate between the candle begin and candle end markers. In this case, we just print the selected actuator ID together with its current shaft position. Let's now run the example and see how it works. Now I'm going to manually move the shaft position so you can see how it changes on the terminal window. This way we are also able to print other actuator parameters such as velocity or torque. The last example in the short startup guide is a motion example, specifically the actuators will move in sync in the impedance motion mode. The main difference between the previous examples is that first we have to make sure the current position is set to zero to avoid any unwanted movements. Then we need to set the appropriate motion mode, in this case the impedance mode, and enable each drive. Then in the main loop we'll command new target positions to make the actuators move. Let's now run the example and see how it behaves. As you can see, both shafts are synchronized, even though the AK80 is equipped with a 6 to 1 gear ratio gearbox, whereas the AX8108 is a direct drive unit. Do not worry if you are unfamiliar with the impedance mode, we will describe each motion mode in detail in the next tutorials. This was the last example for this video. If you'd like to read more about the actuators, be sure to check out the manual, our GitHub repo and stay tuned for next tutorial videos. Goodbye.